Wellnessconsultant.com. Want to feel younger? Get stronger. Age gorgeously? You can by unlocking your genetic secrets with personalized genetic wellness programs from Pro Medical at Pro Club. The first programs ever to combine breakthrough gene science with one-on-one guidance from physicians, geneticists, registered dietitians, personal trainers, and licensed psychologists. Whether you want to slow the signs of aging, boost your energy, lose weight, or just optimize your health, fitness, and longevity overall, our medical experts can create programs 100% personalized for your body. It starts with a complete study of your genetic blueprint that'll reveal hundreds of insights. Our physician-led team will then translate those discoveries into programs tailored to your body's specific needs. It's more than data. It's a plan personalized just for you to help you live better and longer. Personalized genetic wellness programs only for you, only from Pro. Make your appointment today. Learn more at ProClub.com. All right, Ron, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about What are we talking about What are we talking about here? Have you been to Discovery Park lately? It really is a magical place. So close to the core of the city, and yet it feels like you've escaped into a coastal oasis. It's a great respite from the hustle and bustle of life, a place to run through the woods or contemplate life on a bench overlooking the sound. So how do you feel about the revival of a plan to house up to 600 homeless and low-income folks right on the edge of Discovery Park? After going dormant for a while, this decade-old plan is back on the front burner. And yes, there is significant opposition from some in the neighborhood. We'll get to that in a minute. A few details are needed so we know what we're talking about. The U.S. Army has owned about 34 acres adjacent to Discovery Park. In days of yore, it held military troops at Fort Lawton. You may have seen some of the shuttered buildings and wondered what they were. The Army currently leases the land to Seattle, but could avoid tax burden if it transfers the acreage to the city. One catch, the land must be used for parks or homeless housing to get that tax break. According to the Seattle Times, the 13 or so acres that will be designated for housing will have, quote, 85 apartments for formerly homeless seniors, 75 to 100 affordable rental row houses, and about 52 Habitat for Humanity built row houses and townhouses for sale, unquote. There are a bunch of hoops like median income, population cap, parking spaces in there too because, you know, Seattle. On the other side of this prickly conversation, opponents would like to keep the homeless out of Discovery Park, and they have proposed everything from a wildlife corridor to reincorporating the land back into the park. Critics also point out that Discovery Park is not that easy to get in and out of with public transit and that crime and drug use could go up. Do I need to point out that this land is directly across from a very affluent neighborhood? The whale Hill neighbors are prepared to defend their position with expensive lawyers as far as they need to go. So, if you had a vote in this, what would it be? I doubt that the formerly homeless seniors would amount to much of a drug and crime spree. Of course, I could be wrong about that. I've volunteered with Habitat Humanity building this type of row house. And in my experience, the families that navigate the Byzantine maze of governmental agencies to qualify for this type of program are highly motivated and make for solid neighbors. The other row houses could be sold to first responders like firefighters and policemen or even to teachers. On the other hand, it is a spectacular piece of real estate, and I can definitely understand the urge to keep it pristine. With the information we have now, I'm at 70% in favor of building the new houses. I would like to see some more information on what support will be included for the seniors and how transit will connect those folks with the system. What say you? All right, and that plan's been out there for a long time, and the million-dollar homes aren't outside of the park. They're in the park. In fact, uh, a lot of the old buildings there have already been turned into million-dollar homes on that piece of property by a company out of Canada. Uh, The problem that what they're trying to figure out is with these old barracks, do they tear those down or do they refurbish those, and are they historical? So they're trying to figure that out. It is a beautiful park. I'm going to go run out there tonight. I would love to share it with other people as long as people take good care of it and they treasure it because that is the biggest park here in Seattle. It is a Northwest treasure. And anytime friends and family come here, I say you have to go to Discovery Park. That's the place I play with my family. What say you at 989-73? It's the Ron and Don Show on Cowboy Radio.